Have you ever written a business plan? Have you even had time to think about writing a business plan? Hello, it's Andy Sava, the Garage Inspector, and I want to share with you my tips on business planning. Now, of course, recent events across the whole world has, has put us all under extreme stress and pressure. Uh, what this should have highlighted for many of us is the critical importance of good general planning and how you should now be planning and preparing for the next 12 to 18 months, which we all know are gonna be very, very challenging. Planning is at the heart of good management. In the latter part of my own career, I used three simple questions to guide me through the business planning process. Where am I? Where I want to be? And how I'm gonna get there? Most people in any business are mainly involved with completing their daily and weekly tasks and usually prefer to follow someone who has a clear vision, which has been effectively communicated. The plan is the description of the overall vision, your dream, and the basis for the communication in the first place. Leaders who pursue a clear vision believe in themselves and usually, uh, usually achieve a huge amount. You must be able to create a team with a common purpose. And this is extremely important because it will help you deal with the most extreme circumstances like what we are facing today. Leadership cannot operate in a vacuum. If you try to lead without any clear understanding or vision, then you could be described as reckless or hopeless. The where am I now question was the foundation for my plan. And it should be yours too. As well as knowing where I wanted to go, it was also vital to understand where I was coming from, why I am where I am, and what assets I have in my armory to get to where I want to be. The where I am I now stage planning is one which is often in my experience visiting garages and meeting delegates at my business training courses. Um, it doesn't get proper level of attention and is where it's often quite difficult to get people to be really open and honest about their business and their planning. I was honest in my overall assessment of my business uh, before and after, and by comparing my garage businesses, frankly, with my competition, it helped me always keep on top of my business plan for the current and for the future. I never gave up on my vision just because it would have taken a long time because the time would have passed anyway, even if I did nothing. So once I knew where I was and where I wanted to be, I moved on to the detailed task of deciding all the things that I had to do to achieve my vision or my dream, which in fact was to open an independent garage that was a true alternative to a main dealer for BMW Mini and the Volkswagen Ranger vehicles. But I also wanted to be passionate about everything that we did as a business, be progressive, reliable, determined, trustworthy, and I suppose most of all, deliver an honest and value for money service with an integrity supported with a team of knowledgeable and capable people. Knowing what I wanted and what you want is what business planning is all about. It is fundamental to your success and my success. Now, I have three attributes that helped me immensely. First, I knew about planning. Now, obviously, my time at Loughborough University studying for my automotive retail management degree helped me immensely in that department. The second is being driven. I am extremely driven. I had to be in order to turn a concept, a dream like mine, of going head to head with a main dealer into reality. And the third attribute that I believe I have is passion. This attribute is something that you cannot learn or buy off the shelf. You either have it or you don't. My passion to be the best I can be helped me jump over the most challenging hurdles that I had to face. I, look, I looked at long and hard at the marketplace. I identified areas where my future business could be developed. The vehicle owners were, were willing to pay over 140 pounds an hour for their servicing and repairs um, at a main dealer. Uh, even though in most cases the service and experience was substandard. Uh, I just worked through a logical process using market intelligence, research obviously, and common sense and arrived at some solid conclusion. One of them was that customers would be happy to pay 
100 pound an hour for an exceptional service, a, a positive unmatched experience and independent garage. However, I had to make sure that we could provide everything that a main dealer in terms of physical features and attributes, but even more importantly, have the technical ability to deliver our promise of being a true alternative to a main dealer. Understanding my business, my competitors, and the marketplace helped me develop the view of where I wanted to go in the future with my plan. It enhanced my vision and it made it easier for me to develop a strategy in realizing my dream. Turning a strategy into an operating plan is not complex if you really want it to happen. Business plans will contribute to your success, your garage success. Start developing your plan by answering the next two obvious questions. What and why are you planning? When you define these two, you will be on your way to developing a valid plan. You then need to work through the planning process. Now, back in 2009, before I opened the garage, I had a process of tasks that I dealt with, and I still use this template now. These are one, define your business activities, the services that you wanna offer or that you are offering. Number two, define the current status of your business. Number three, research the marketplace and your competition. Yeah, this is vital. Number four, set your objectives for the period of the plan. And remember that these must be flexible, adaptable, and realistic. Number five, explain your vision, your dream, and how you're gonna go and get there. Number six, carry out a SWOT analysis of your business. You know, your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, your strengths. Number seven, set out your financial projections, budgets, cash flow. And last but not least, use it. Just tell your story. That's exactly what I did. Business planning is similar to a dog chasing its tail. The end is always in sight, but you never arrive there. A new business planning cycle should always start before the end, the old one is over. Targets are continually shifting in our ever-changing automotive world and more now than ever before. Plans should always be revised. You never quite know whether your original plan was accurate. You must always think that, uh, you must always measure the present against the latest modification of your plan. And once in a while, grab the tail and see what you can learn from the current deviations from the original plan to now. So Alex Ferguson, regard, uh, regardless of winning multiple trophies in an incredible football career, and arguably the greatest football manager of all time, always planned for the following season, even when the current one hadn't ended. He seemed to always have a competitive advantage over his rivals throughout his long football career. The plan is where you start from. Its objectives are your destination. Um, what happens in the middle is down to your good captaincy and leadership skills. Good luck in your business planning journey. Please visit my website, www.thegarageinspector.com and see the many business related services I can offer. Keep safe and well. And once again, thank you for watching and God bless.